Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to evaluate without the use of calculator 81 power 4 minus 9 power 5. Now, 81 is simply 3 power 4. So, we are going to replace this 81 with 3 power 4. We have 3 power 4 raised to the power 4 minus 9 is simply 3 power 2. And we raise it to the power 5. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of m, this equals a power n times m. So I'm going to multiply this. I'm going to multiply this out. So we are going to have 3 power 4 times 4 is 16 minus 3 power 2 times 5 is 10. So we now have 3 power 16 minus 3 power 10. So what is the value of 3 power 16? <laughs> This is incredible. So this is how we are going to do it. We can have 3 power 16 as 3 power 10 plus 6 minus 3 power 10. Now, if you have a power m plus m, this equals a power n times a power m. So we apply this identity here. We will have 3 power 10 times 3 power 6 minus 3 power 10. So this is it. We have 3 power 10 here. We have 3 power 10 here. If you have a times b minus a, this simply means a times b minus 1. Because if you expand this, you are definitely going to get this again. So we factor out a. So we are going to factor out 3 power 10. So we have 3 power 10 times the whole of this divided by 3 power 10. We have 3 power 6 minus 3 power 10 divided by 3 power 10, we have 1. We proceed. We have 3 power 10 times 3 power 6 is simply, we can have it as 3 power 5 plus 1. Have you seen that? Now, by applying This same identity, we are going to have 3 power 6 equals 3 power 5 times 3 power 1. And 3 power 5 is simply 2, 4, 3. We have times 3. And 2, 4, 3 times 3, we are definitely going to have 7, 2, 9. Have you seen that? So, so we have 7 to 9 minus 1. So this will give us 3 power 10 times 7 to 9 minus 1 is 7 to 8. So the next thing is for us to find the value of 3 power 10. 3 power 10 equals 3 power 5 all power 2. Why am I using 3 power 5? Because it's very simple to know. That is 2, 4, 3. So this simply means we are going to have 2, 4, 3 raised to the power of 2 because 3 power 5 is 2, 4, 3 so we have 2, 4, 3 raised to the power of 2 have you seen that? now that means we can have 2, 4, 3 raised to the power of 2 times 7, 2, 8 now we can simply have this 2, 4, 3 rewritten as, let's concentrate on 2, 4, 3, power 2. This equals 200 plus 43. And this is raised to the power of 2. And this equals 200 plus 43 times 200 plus 43. Have you seen that? So, what we need to do is, we multiply it out. 200 times 200. 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 4, 0, 2, 3, 4. That is 40,000 plus 200 times 43. 2 times 43. 2 times 3. That is 6. 2 times 4. That is 8. We have 8, 600 plus the same thing again. 8, 600 plus 43 times 43 is 1849. Have you seen that? So we are now going to have 
40,000 plus 8,600 plus 8,600 plus 1,849. 8,600 plus 8,600 is 17,200. So we have 40,000 plus 17,200 plus 1,849. So if you add all these, you are going to get 59049. This is now the value of 3 power 10, 59049. Are you following it? Okay. So you come over here. We have 59049. This is 243 squared, right? So we now have times 728. How are we going to multiply this out? Now, here is the trick. We can have this 59049 as 59,000 plus 49. This is the same thing as 59049 times 728 is simply 700 plus 28. Have you seen it? So, this is how we are going to multiply it. 59,000 times 700. 59,000 times 28, 49,000 times 700, and 49,000 times 28. Then we add up everything and we get our solution. So let's start. 59 times 700, or 59,000 times 700. This is how we are going to multiply it. Just have 59 times 7. Because these are three zeros, we will add it later. So 59 times 7, 59 times 7. So this is it. 7 times 9. So we have 7 times 9 to be 63. We have 3 and carry over 6. 7 times 5, that is 35. 35 plus 6. So 35 plus 6 is 41. So you have 413. Now that means we are going to have 413. How many zeros do we have in total? One, two, three, four, five. Have you seen it? We have one, two, three, four, five. Plus, that is 59,000 times 700 is this. That is 41 million, 300,000. Have you seen it? Very simple. Now, the next step is 59,000 times 28. We do the same thing. This is it. We are now going to have 59 times 28. Have you seen it? So you have 59 times 28. 8 times 9. 8 times 9, that is 72. So you have 2 and carry over 7. 8 times 5, that is 40. 40 plus 7. So you have 47. 2 times 9, that is 18. So we have 8 and carry over 1. 2 times 5, 10. 10 plus 1, that is 11. We add up everything. 2, 7 plus 8, that is 15. 5, carry over 1 and add here. That is 5 plus 1, 6. So you have 1, 6, 5, 2. So 1, 6, 5, 2. We have 1, 6, 5, 2. How many zeros? 1, 2, 3. So we have 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3. Have you seen it? Plus. The next thing will be 49 times 700. So let's have here 49 times 7. We are going to add the zeros later. So we have 7 times 9. 7 times 9 is 63. 3 and carry over 6, right? 7 times 4, 28. 28 plus 6. 28 plus 6 is 34. Have you seen it? So we have 343. Three. So let me have it here. 343. Three. How many zeros? So this was so this was 49 times 7, right? 49 times 7. So we have 
two zeros. That is 49 times 700. We have two zeros. So we have 34300. Have you seen it? The last one will be 49 times 28. So you come over here. 49, 28. Right? So you have 8 times 9. That is 72. 2 carry over 7. 8 times 4. That is 32. 32 plus 7. That is 39. Have you seen it? So 2 times 9, 18. 8 carry over 1. 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 1. That is 9. So we add up. So we have 2, 9 plus 8, that is 17, 7, and carry over 1, and add here 4, 4 plus 9, that is 13. Right? So we have 13, 7, 2. We come over here, we have plus 13, 7, 2. Since there is no zero, we leave it. So we are going to add up all these numbers. Look at it here. From that to this. And that will be our final answer. So we have 41,300,000. So let me use this. 41,300,000. The next number is what? 1652. So we have 1652. 1652,000. That is 1,652,000. The third one is 34,300. So we have 343. Hundred. Then finally, we have one three seven two. One three seven two. So this, are what we are going to sum. So this will give us two. This will give us seven. This will give us six. So this will give us two plus four six plus one seven again. This will give us eight, right? So this will give us three plus six nine. This will give us 2, and this will give us 4. Have you seen it? So what is it now? This is 42,987,672. So the value of 81 power 4 minus 9 power 5 equals 42,987,672. Incredible without the use of calculator. This is it guys. Thank you and goodbye.